What's up everybody, it's Johan Nordstrom from Trading Walk and in this video I want to show you my two USD CAD trades, first a profitable short and then a profitable long. Okay, so let's start with the short signal here. If you watched my previous video, I talked about this potential short since I traded this move up here. And as you can see here, we have this drop. And as I talked about in the previous video, you often see price come back up to that area. And we did just that. And this is also the strategy I talk about in my price action strategy guide. And basically what that is, is first an impulse, a retrace, and then higher low and a higher high. This is an ABC move. You see these moves very often. I felt very confident taking this short right here. And as I talked about in the previous video, the 50% level, Fibonacci level is very, very strong. So I knew that when I shorted up here, I was going to close the trade just a few pips before this level because uh, it's a very, very strong level. So closing the trade down here was very obvious. And as you can see, it played out very well. Now, the second trade I took is I didn't enter right away on this level, but I entered on this retrace here. And if you watch my videos now, you can probably see why I entered down here. It's a Fibonacci retracement, this swing low, to this swing high. So I waited for the level to show its strength and I took the entry on the 50%. And if you're observant here as well, you can see that we have, just as we have this ABC move here, you have the same type of move here. You have an impulse, a move with a low and now a lower high and now a lower low. And I will talk about why I closed the trade up here. You can probably guess it's because of the drop here, that resistance level, resistant, and it's a V type. It's not rounding the bottom. So this was a very obvious area to close the trade as well. You also have this. Namely, if we zoom out to a four hour short and we look at this pennant here and we look at the last higher low, we have a low here higher low and the last higher low draw that level as a resistant level when it's broken into the future it's going to be a strong resistance level so as you can see here it's the area we shorted the short trade and now again the area where we exited our trade so looking now again at the one hour chart we can see both these two strong levels the fibonacci 50 percent from this move and the pennant resistant is this line here so you can see we're basically trading levels going short at a resistant level and taking profits as the support level and taking new entries at the support level and taking profits at the resistance again and as you can see the short trade played out very well and the same thing for the long trade played out very well we entered down here where we had the bigger time frame support and the 50% Fibonacci from this move. And we closed the trade from the bigger picture resistance from the pennant and this drop here, creating this resistance. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I wish you all the best and to your success.